So hey everyone and welcome back to the channel, I'm Dazzling Dave. This is the international fan reaction for Wolves 1, Bournemouth 0. We've got 10 countries represented, Israel is back. We've got our first contribution from Indonesia as well, all in association with the Wolves Foundation. We're starting to believe the Champions League is on. Hello Wolverhampton's fans, my name is Cy Claude representing Israel and I want to get some positive vibes going here. Okay, so I was watching the game with my friend and I was talking to him like, oh, Roy Patricia is a pretty good goalkeeper and I was agreeing with him, yeah, he's a really good goalkeeper. And actually we're really good in defense and we're really good in midfield and we're really good at strike. And I, I wasn't able to point out one thing wrong with our team right now. And that is like, they're really, really good. And like 60 minutes into the game, one of the commentators were saying, like, we have 70% ball control. That's how dominant we were in this match. But let's put that aside, and let's talk about the 1-0 win. And let's talk about the one goal we had. Incredible assist by Traore, once again, speed and power. Unstoppable force. It's a Damame Traore. But let's talk about how much power Raul Jimenez managed to put behind this era. I'm not talking about the height he jumped. That was incredible as well. But the way he put his head into the ball, I don't know how to explain that, but... He put so much force and power behind the strike, and I think it's equals to any single kick, even even the Traore kick. That was so much power behind this ball. Hey, Mr. Dave, this is Rally here in Asia, and thank you for having me in this video. And first of all, uh, I'm very happy to know that our team is getting better and better, and especially our bench is getting stronger than before. Uh, so my thought about this match is uh, very, very amazing. Adama is an excellent player we have. And I think Adama and Raul uh, finally have their chemistry to play together. In the first half, we play a solid game, but almost have no big chance to score. And thanks to the magic of Adama and the Mexican Wolf Raul that made the difference in our team. And thanks to Nuno what a magnificent tactical he created, and I hope we can repeat this winning on Saturday. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Warsaw, and this is my reaction to the 1-0 win over Bournemouth, I think. I have to give Bournemouth some credit, to be honest. I think they held us back pretty well. They did okay. Um, but you could see Wolves growing more and more into the game as it went on, I feel. Um, they had some pretty decent chances. But again, it's just that lethal Traore and Jimenez combination just killing the game off. I think the fact that we didn't have like we didn't play necessarily well and still managed to get the win speaks volumes for the team. Um, you know... In the end, it was fairly comfortable. I feel like they petered out after around 70 minutes and we just started looking more and more comfortable, um, which I'm really glad about. I think another clean sheet will do us the world of good heading into the Villa game as well on the weekend. So, you know, results have gone their way other than United beating Sheffield. So let's just keep pushing on that potential Champions League places there, which is still absolutely mind-blowing. So fingers crossed we can continue this form for the rest of the season. Come on, you Wolves. Hi Dave, it's uh, 5 a.m. Thursday morning here in Melbourne. Uh, it's going to be a long day. Thought first half we were, you know, slowly uh, eased into the game. Could have started a bit better. Once then again, Bournemouth didn't really create much. Didn't put us any, under any great pressure. Thought at the end of the first half we started to string a few passes together. Second half, totally in control. Never looked like uh, even giving them a sniff at goal. At the end of the day, three points, keeps us level with the United um, and still in with a great shout. I, uh, looking forward to the Villa game, at least it's a 9.30pm kickoff for us, so at least uh, it won't be such a long day as today. Anyway, up the walls, cheers. Hey Dave, it's Dave from New York Wolves here, uh, from a very uh, sunny, hot, humid Stanford, although um, it was actually warmer in Wolverhampton today than it was here, which I don't get to say very often in, uh, at the end of June. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I thought we were playing Bournemouth today. Um, I was working, so I actually keep looking over at the TV and um, the goal I saw, they were just replaying Saturday's goal. What's going on? Um, I'm kidding, of course. Um, kind of eerie how that uh, goal today was an almost exact carbon copy of uh, the first goal on Saturday. But I don't care. Long may it continue. I'm happy for us to score the same goal in every game for the rest of the season, if, uh, if needs be. Um, 
Traore's confidence is just sky high at the moment. He just lines up to a defender or defenders and says, I don't care how many people you put on me, I'm just going to go past you and put in a brilliant cross. So I um, hope he keeps that up. Raul actually had, still had, I think, quite a bit of work to do on the cross, even, even though it was a perfect cross because he had, uh, I think, one or maybe two defenders on him. Um, but a uh, great header, great goal, deserved a win. Shame Neto couldn't add a second at the end. Um, but hey, two games, two wins, no goals conceded, looking pretty good. Um, I do want to say that the mosaic today, um, when I saw that video on Twitter today, it sent shivers down my spine. What a brilliant job by the team. I love the way the South Bank looked. Like it was just sort of big pictures of the players, but then when you zoom in, it's all the mosaics that everybody uploaded uh, of individual fans. What a superb job. I, personally, I know I'm biased, but I think that was better than any other um, any of the other flags and stuff that teams had in in their stadiums. I think we we outdid ourselves and uh, um, superb and job and congrats to everybody who was involved in that. Um, so that's it. I'll wrap it up. I will get back inside and uh, get back to uh, working hard. And please make sure my boss doesn't realise that uh, uh, I was watching the game today. <laughs> Talk to you later. Hey, Aiden Purcell checking in from Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Just finished watching Wolves beat Bournemouth 1-0. Uh, certainly could have been more, um, but we've also seen those results go the other way. And uh, I think, you know, two, three years ago, even last year, we were taking these grind them out 1-0 results. Uh, we were certainly the better team on the pitch, um, as seems to be a theme that I could definitely get used to. Uh, so another three points on the board, uh, chasing down fourth place. I could care less if anybody's talking about it. In fact, I think I prefer that nobody is. Um, so, you know, some, some real positive signs. Uh, once our finishing improves a little bit more as well, I, I think uh, we could start uh, getting some comfortable victories under our belt. Uh, looks like Pedro Neto only scores worldies. Um, so, you know, that certainly could have been 2-0 on the dagger, but uh, three points is three points, and we'll take it. Um, on to the next one, um, a, a big match on the weekend against the Vile. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can and, uh, put them a little bit closer back to the championship and uh, another three points for us to be, uh, you know, chasing down fourth place. Again, uh, regardless of whether or not anybody's talking about it, I prefer that they don't. Uh, we'll sneak under the radar and just steal their lunch money. So uh, on we go, on to the next one. Come on, me babbies. Hello, hello everyone. It's Brian from Thailand here. Uh, well, we got the win, and uh, basically it was a hard-fought victory last night against Bournemouth. Bournemouth had a game plan, uh, came 4-5-1, give us no space, uh, and stuck to it well. Um, to be honest, the first half, I think uh, it's best if you, uh, if we not talk about that, uh, apart from uh, Adama Triori, who set off on a run, uh, in his own half and beat three or four players and then got chopped down resulting free kick came to nothing and then I think we bang on half time uh, just outside the box he had a he had a shot cross shot which went across the, over the bar so the first half was uh, bang average but uh, come out in the second half uh, stepped up slightly I, I still don't think we was out of second gear in the end but um, the goal came and uh, again, it was the uh, Adama Raul combination. Um, he got down a wing, crossed it, and uh, Raul, it seemed to hit, hit the side of his head here. Like, you know, but uh, I'm not still not sure how he got in between the two defenders. Uh, I think he was a yard behind the two defenders, man managed to get it right in between them. But, uh, you know, he, he, he scored his 15th goal of the season. Um, Sometime in the second half, we had a corner. Uh, Willie Bolly hit his foot, basically, and the keeper saved it, and it was cleared. And then in the last minute, Pedro Neto went through. Uh, could have scored, but unfortunately for him, he didn't. But, uh, yeah, it, it, the victory was hard fault, and, uh, I'm, you know, I'm glad we got the three points because Man United, and uh, they, they won again. So, you know, the fourth, fourth or fifth spot, still up for grabs. But as long as we keep on winning, um, uh, I don't mind. You know, we're still in with a chance of the the Europa uh, Europa League as well. But uh, it's onwards and upwards until Saturday away at uh, Aston Villa. What a game that's going to be! Speak Saturday. Take care, guys. Thanks very much. Hey, Dave. It's Zach in San Diego, California. A uh, bit of a cloudy day today, but that's kind of how it is in June around here. Um, 
He's out walking the dog. Got a chance to catch the Wolves match. Um, love getting another win. Um, obviously, we had that Traore menace connection again, just rising for that header, driving it home. Um, just seems like every team we play has difficulty containing Adama when he goes to make his runs into the box and in the in the final third. So, um, you know, just <laughs> if we can do the same thing against Villa, keep the points racking up. We're getting so close to those Champions League spots, and um, yeah, you just you love to see it. And um, definitely the best way we could have come back from the restart. And um, now we're you know tied with in points with Man U. Um, I know I was talking to one of my friends who's a United fan. He's also really impressed with how Wolves have been doing since the restart. So uh, maybe a little bit of a friendly <laughs> run down the home stretch, pass up Chelsea. They got a pretty uh, gnarly, you know, run of the run of games through the rest of the season. So um, yeah, looking forward to the next match. Hopefully Jimenez can put one or two in again. Um, same way they've been doing it. So, yes, always Dave, good. it's David here in Gothenburg, Sweden. You've given you my reaction to tonight's game. Wolves 1, Bournemouth 0. I got the score predicted right, uh, as I did on your preview video. I thought it'd be nervy. And it kind of was at times with Wolves uh, just having the, the one goal. And yeah, let's get into the game then. So, he was very quiet in the first half. Not too many chances. That man, Adama, looked dangerous at times. But uh, yeah, not, not a lot happened in the, in the first half. And then going into their second half, Adama kicked into gear and crossed it. And Raul attacked it with such hunger at the back post to put us 1-0 up. And yeah, it's a better combination in world football than those two at the moment. It's such a joy watching them combine together. And we're so lucky to have them at the club. And yeah, I thought Wolves controlled it very well. Adama went off, Dendonka came on to shore it up. And yeah, there wasn't too many chances up until the last minute when Neto slalomed through. And yeah, he was willing him to put it in, but he just slipped it wide. And yeah, he was unlucky, but what a player he is as well. And yeah, moving on to, to Saturday now against Aston Villa. And hopefully we can cement our great start to the season. Six clean sheets now in seven games. And Willy Bolly at the back is making such a big difference for us. So yeah, on to the Villa game and let's get uh, beat them and put them in their place. Hi, this is Chris from Eidsvoll in Norway. Yeah, the tankard is out. You know what this is. You know what this means. We've won again. Thank God for that. Cheers, everyone. But you know, that was not an easy watch at times. The first half hour, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what I was watching. Really, I mean, okay, it was hot. We know that. Oh, I started to worry about a nil-nil or maybe even losing a game. Irrational thoughts, I guess, but um, I should know better. Nuno had a tactic and, uh, wow, well, we got the win. Jimenez again. You know, I wondered before the goal, I, thought, I wondered, I looks tired. He hadn't been involved so much. Should we take him off? Uh, what do I know? Well... Let's say this, Champions League is a distinct possibility. There's no question about it. Great times to be a Wolves fan. Wolves 1, AFC Bournemouth, nil. Hi Dave, hi guys, Andy here from Montreux in Switzerland. Um, well, another sound performance. Um, Wolves never looked trouble. No shots that really tested Rui the whole match. Wolves could have scored more than one. Um, in the end, uh, great dribble by Adama, fantastic cross, superb header by Rao, gave us the point we needed. Um, not sure how Neto missed uh, his goal uh, towards the end of the second half when uh, he was round everyone, just the goalkeeper to beat. Um, but be that as may, we uh, move forward to just within a couple of points of uh, Chelsea, who have City tomorrow night. Tough game for them. If City win, of course, that is not going to do us any harm. At the weekend, we've got uh, the Villa match, local derby. Um, and uh, who knows where this is going to lead. Uh, sixth equal, could well find ourselves in fifth, uh, or even fourth in the next four or five days. Who knows? Hey, Dave, Wolfman Jeff here on the porch in Alabama. Uh, watched the Bournemouth uh, match today. Uh, so first uh, home match in the new conditions. It was really, really strange. I think I heard them play high ho silver lining, and it just doesn't sound the same. Uh, it's like when I first heard the music of Rocky Horror 
by itself without people jumping into it. It just doesn't sound the same. Uh, so I, I don't know if I've ever heard the song without us uh, shouting out to Wolverhampton. So I can imagine it was a surreal experience uh, for, for you guys there in the West Midlands. Um, it was a comfortable win. I think kind of maybe too comfortable. And I maybe I, we're just spoiled right now. And because the last match we were so commanding and so on form and not that we played poorly, it just seemed like there was a few points that I felt like the score should have been three nil rather than one nil. Uh, part of it was a couple changes didn't go in. It was like, it's like we did just enough to win, uh, which happy with the result, comfortable result. Uh, the goal was fantastic that we had. Uh, Neto almost got one in and I could tell Jot is frustrating because he really wants to score. And mark my words, Dave, once Jada gets on the board, those goals are going to start coming out again. So a lot of things to look forward to uh, this Saturday. Uh, early early match for us, uh, 7 in the morning or 7.30 in the morning. So I had to have my coffee and uh, and watch us uh, uh, take uh, Villa, take on them villains. So uh, onward, upward, please us punch with the result. Uh, just thought maybe we could do a little bit more, but I also realized that maybe my expectations were a little too high. Hey, thanks, Dave. This has been Wolfman Jeff in Alabama. Hi, Dave. Hi, guys. Spencer from sunny Wolverhampton, like literally sunny Wolverhampton. It was 38 degrees today, and I am boiling. Wolves versus Bournemouth today at Molyneux behind closed doors. What a brilliant game, to be fair. I think Wolves played the correct way. They were probably exhausted from their away game at West Ham on the weekend. Um, I'm pretty sure Nuno's playing style today was pretty much get that goal, get the three points, keep possession. And once again, what a performance from Trial Ray. Taking on three players in the midfield and literally destroying all of them just to be taken down by another player he would have easily got through on goal there and that beautiful cross into Jimenez once again to get the three points and it was a brilliant goal a bullet header as you could say and I'm guessing we'll just move on to the next game now and it would be another easy three points hopefully for them and I'll see you next time and Jess in case you are wondering my family are Everton fans, but we also love our hometown team called Wolves. Bye. Hi Dave and fellow Wolves fans from home and away. Uh, my take on this morning, at least our time, this game uh, against Bournemouth. Uh, I guess we're going to get a lot of these sort of games between now and the end. Uh, where teams uh, busting to stay up. Uh, Bournemouth, one of them. Uh, a few others fill the next one Saturday, for example, which I think is going to be tough. Uh, this was a banana skin game, I thought. I think uh, it seemed a few other people thought that, so I was quite happy to get the three points. So uh, even though it wasn't a great game, certainly not a great game to watch, um, I thought we did all right. I thought we, we did enough, um, and that's really all we need to do. We're still a bit rusty. Most teams are, but um, I think it'll get better as hopefully by the time we get to the Euros and then we can do something magical there, uh, as usual, guys. And ladies, always good. Thanks ever so much to everyone that's contributed to this particular vlog. Uh, if you're from uh, Mexico, Portugal, Germany or anywhere around the world or you want to be a guest UK uh, contributor to the international fan, please let me know. Thanks for everyone that's joined the live stream, joined me for the live stream at the Villa game and don't forget to go and check out the Wolves Foundation and all the fantastic work that they do for the community. So until the next one from myself and everyone around the world, we are always Wolves.